Hello, my name is Gertrude, and I'm a junior developer advocate in the developer relations team at Click. In this video, I'm going to programmatically demonstrate how to use the Click Applications Automations API using a simple use case. That is, we're going to create, retrieve, as well as update an automation. Let's get started. Let's begin with looking at the documentation on Click.dev. I have previously created an automation programmatically, so this will just be a quick recap. I will copy the data that is needed to create the automation and use Postman to do this. I will change the request type, authorization, headers is content type, and the value will be application JSON. For the body, it will be row and JSON. Then I will paste in the data that I had copied. You can customize this information based on your use case as well as what type of automation you want to create. For demonstration purposes, I will just edit the name as well as the description, but feel free to edit it as much as you want and add more information. Now the automation has been created. I'll just jump into the tenant to see that this has been successful and it has. Again, for demonstration purposes, I will just create a simple automation, but then you can do it based on an actual automation. This is just to demonstrate um, the automation and it will be the simple inputs with Slack. I will not configure each block as it's just a demonstration, but you will have to do it if you're creating the actual automation. Now, let's say you have created the automation and you want to see what, what did you have uh, in the automation. That's where retrieving an automation will come in. I will change the request type to get and I will copy the automation ID and add it to the request URL. Before I send this, I will just go back to the documentation on click.dev to ensure that I have put all the information that is required, and I have. We'll quickly send the request, get all information, and if this were um, an actual automation, you will probably want to look at the runs or other information to see that you have all, all the data that you need. And let's just say you want to edit this automation, which we will do now, go back to click.dev, look at the documentation and edit accordingly. Begin by changing the request type. And again, it's just demonstration purposes, so I'll just change the name of the automation as well as the description to say, now it will be sending an alert since um, that's the simple automation that I made, which uh, sends um, a message in Slack. Before I send this request, I'm just going to refresh uh, the browser for my tenant. Great, and then send the request. The automation has now been updated according to the changes that I made. That's it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to let us know what you think and follow us on Twitter for more updates. Bye for now.